just in the uh, in the ditch. Uh, back at this fencing job. Uh, so this is the next bit of uh, the fence we've got fence along this ditch. But I said, asked him where he wanted the ditch digging out first. Once you put a fence up, it's hard to dig a deep ditch out without damaging your fence. So he said, yeah crack on and get it done so I dug this out from the other side from that side through the hedge which wasn't very kind on the digger uh, about three three or four years ago and I probably took it from sort of like up here to here this sort of height and now I'm taking it down another foot or two feet really. The, the, the field, this side, there's literally water sat on the field. It's that claggy clay ground that, and it, it, yeah. There's water sat. It's a bit of a bank where obviously maybe the ditch has been dug out years and years ago, which is stopping the water running off the surface. But and the crowns, the grounds that clay. Uh, it's a really heavy clay loam. It doesn't seem to drain through it so probably wants a bit of good subsoil and a couple of drains put in really but he's not going to drain it just just now so I was hoping maybe that just clearing the ditch out might might help a bit we'll see it's not really a very good fall I think that the water would have to come up quite a way before it actually starts running down in that direction because it's it's a pretty much level run to be fair I try to try to keep it as deep as I can but yeah anyway we'll keep going I don't know whether it'll do anything but once it's done it's done isn't it and then you can we can put the fence up and uh, not regret having uh, dug it out so yeah, I'll keep digging. Well, we're mowing. There's quite a good lot of grass on here actually so far, so quite pleased. A few wet spots, but what can you do? I've been waiting for a dry week and I don't think we're going to get one. So we're just going to uh, crack on and try and get it done this weekend. So it's really windy and sunny, so it's drying quite, quite nice. So yeah. Dan's just taken over. 
I'm gonna go and uh, have a look at a few other fields to see whether they're dry enough and hopefully we can keep going and then I'll uh, maybe go and put the tether on So I'm just uh, rolling eggs off now. Um, yeah, Dan's Dan's still mowing. It's got to be must be about half ten now. Yeah, he's still going. Uh, he's in the last field, so he'd have done. He'd have done something like first 37, 38 acres or something by the time he's done. But it's in. Oh, it's spread across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight fields. So, yeah, that's why it's taking so long. A lot of fiddling about, and I don't think Dan's going overly quick because he hasn't done a lot of mowing. So, but he seems to be plodding on all right. I've tedded half of it out. There's two. The beef. Or four little fields that it's got a really light crop crop on, and I don't know whether there's any point in tedding it really. Uh, so I might go nip out and ted the big field he's in now in in the morning, perhaps, and we'll uh, hopefully get it all baled tomorrow and fetched in. So yeah, these are just uh, new pullets, pullet eggs, tiny little things. So, so yeah, that'll probably be it for us tonight. We'll uh, see what happens tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get it all bailed. So yeah, don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. So yeah, it's probably not much point watching really. Don't know why. I wouldn't bother if I were you. Bye for now.